Shalom, shalom, my Halberim. Greetings, my YouTube mishpah. What's up, what's up, my people? And welcome, friends, to Bible on a Bicycle. In this here little video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Night Owl Torchlight. That's right. Do you remember here a while back? Had a little accident on the bicycle, riding around at night. Got sideswiped by a truck. Knocked over on my old butt. <clears throat> Still healing from that. A little road rash. Too old for that. Ironically, I've had this here uh, set of torch lights for well over a year now. But did I have them on my bike that night? No. Will I have them on my bike from now on? Well, I guess that depends on how well they work. A good friend of mine gave this to me as a gift about uh, maybe two years ago for birthday, I believe. I believe it was a birthday. Might have been Christmas. One of those days. But, you know, I kept it in the box. I always said, hey, I'm going to do a review someday and then put them on my bike. And I got caught up in a bunch of stuff IRL. As many of you know from watching this here channel, I had to move. And a lot of things changed in my personal life. But after that little incident recently, I figured it's high time we got these out, had a look at them, and put them on the old bicycle. And I'll let you know what I think of them. We'll go over a little bit of what they're about, what I think of them right out of the box, and then we'll stick them on the old bicycle and give them a test run. If that sounds like something you might be interested in. Then without any further ado, let's get these bad boys unboxed. Let's dive right in. The following information comes from the manufacturer's website. There'll be a link down below in the description of this video. Cycle Torches Night Owl. USB rechargeable bike light set. The top features are 360 degree visibility, waterproof, lithium polymer battery, flashing mode, three night modes, dust resistant, USB charge, super bright light, 1500 milliamps, fast charging, USB rechargeable lithium polymer battery comes with its own USB charging cord to quickly and easily charge. The battery charges 80% after about two hours. Model specifications are as follows. The model range, Night Owl 200 USB Life. It's water resistant, headlamp brightness, 200 luminescence, waterproof grade IP65. Now, even though it says earlier that it was waterproof in the description, I'm here to tell you that a waterproof grade of IP65 equals water resistant. That means it's protected against water jets from any angle, but do not submerge an IP65 water resistant LED light under the water under any circumstances or stay out in torrential rain because these are not, I repeat, not waterproof. They are water resistant. The light source for the headlamp is a 2x3535 ultra bright LED lights. The LED lifespan is approximately 50,000 hours according to the manufacturer. Low power consumption. The battery is a rechargeable lithium polymer 1500 milliamps 3.7 volt battery. Charge time 4 to 10 hours. Battery discharge time, that's the amount of time that you're going to be able to use it, is 120 minutes on high mode at 100% or 200 lumens, 240 minutes in medium mode at 50% or 100 lumens, 1,200 minutes in low mode at 10% or 20 lumens. You get 2,400 minutes in flash mode at 200 lumens. It's made out of a high quality nylon plastic ABS and weighs only 70 grams. Now, on with the hands-on part of the review. Alrighty, this is the Cycle Torch Night Owl Bike Light Set. Comes with a front headlamp and a tail lamp. Comes in a nice little sturdy box, made in China. Of course, isn't everything made in China? I'll leave links to the Cycle Torch website down below this video in the description. Like I said, nice little sturdy box. It's not a cheap cardboard, nice and uh, sturdy. Let's see what's inside her. All right. Have a look at the uh, packaging. That's nice. Nice foam packaging, keeping everything in there nice and tight. I'll be honest with you folks, full disclosure, I've already had this open before. But they did a real good job packaging. 
there at Cycle Torch. Comes with the headlamp. USB charging cord. And these little rubber bandy things are what you use to actually connect it to your bicycle. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But it comes with a variety of different sizes and thicknesses of the, uh, what are these, little rubber bandy attachment thingies? That's what we'll call them. It comes with three different sizes. Then we have the rear torch light. And look at here, a little doohickey. You know what that's for? I'll show you here in a minute. So well, there you have it. The Night Owl Cycling Torch. Bicycle lights. All right, let's have a little closer look. Let's have a little closer look at this here front headlamp. Well, it's a uh, nice and sturdy filling. The plastic gets not that cheap plastic. It's pretty thick. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels solid. It's got this Cycle Torch logo there. And uh, it says Night Owl on the side. Then down here under the bottom is your little USB charging port. Like so. Got a nice little tight snug fit in there. That's good. And you get the trigger on top. There's those two LED lights. Let's get her. Let's see how she works. Woo! Well, that's bright. It's real bright. That must be high right off the bat. Look at that. That's bright. I think these will work just fine. There you go, old medium. Flashing. Back to bright. So it's got four different settings got high, one, medium, two, low, three, and flashing, four. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. Uh, as for you older folks, you know who that I'm talking about. Oh, count from the Sesame Street there. All right, let's have a look at this little tail light. Once again, it's got the Cycle Torch emblem on there. Got a little, little lapel hook on the back. I guess that's so you could hook it on one of your bags or your backpack. I don't know if I'd trust that little lapel hook or not. Now oh, here, this doohickey. This is what this doohickey's for. So you take that little lapel hook Instead of sliding it in your lapel or on your backpack, slide it down in there snug. Oh, there you go. It clips in there real nice and snug. It ain't going nowhere. And then use your 
rubber flubbery band to connect it to your bicycle. At least that's how I'm going to do it. All right. Let's see how this little bad boy works. It's real light, but sturdy. Again, nice quality of plastique. Down here on the bottom, once again, you have your USB charging port. Uh, I always struggle with those little rubber flaps on everything. Let's see how he works. All right, there's one. It's got three lights in there, real bright. Flashing mode. And slower flashing mode. Alternating flashing mode. A slower alternating flashing mode. And back to full on bright then you just hold it down on both of these all you do is just hold down the power button and after a second or so it goes off all right so there you have it the cycle torch night owl bicycle lights did a good job packaging uh, we'll see about these here doohickeys. Look at that one there, that's thick. These little rubber flubbers here. We'll see if they work well or not. Um, that's my only concern or hesitation is that, uh, I'd really prefer it if they did. It came with some kind of quick release little mounting system, solid plastic mounting system of some sort. But, uh, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. We'll see if she holds on there. It just reminds me of that old saying, you know, just hanging on by a rubber band. But it seems sturdy enough. It's real snug. Seems strong enough. Well, there's only one way to find out. And that's to uh, get these here lights and mount them up on the old bicycle and take her out for a test run. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible and hopefully these go on with a quickness. Oh yeah. That was nothing. I even got this bag on here. All right, let's get the tail light. Uh, headlamp. It's a Bible. Oh, where's the little rubber flubber part? Okay, let's get this tail light on. And again. Real fast and easy to get them on. And they seem fairly snug. Let's get her gloves on, her riding gloves. I don't know about you all out there, but I have this uh, weird pet peeve about just grabbing onto hand grips with my bare hand. Feels, uh, I feel naked without my riding gloves. So let's get those on. out onto the B line which is a very popular pathway we got here it used to be an old railroad back in the day when I was a young guy and all the kids used to hop trains there but now they turned it into a bike path slash you know walking path it's a real popular trail around here and for the most part as you can tell it's pretty well lit but we're gonna veer off over here to uh, sections that I know aren't so well lit and see how these lights really work so far, they work great.
good visibility. Super bright. All right, let's take it over and take it down on medium. And then low. And even low at the right angle works really, really well. Even in the city lights. I really do enjoy nighttime rides. And with all these different settings, not only does it afford you, the rider, with visibility, but also when you're in uh, more urban areas, it works equally as well to provide visibility for others to see you coming. All right, let's get back to the little studio. All right then, what do you think of that? Well, nighttime ride. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the whole performance of the Torchlight Night Owl bike lights. What do you think? I only wish that I'd have done this a lot sooner. Anyway, that's my review. I think that's pretty much all I got to say about these here lights so far. I'll give you a little update here in a few months to let you know how they're doing. But so far, very pleased. I think they're a great product. Now, like I said, so far, I think they're a great product. And if you want to ask me if I'd recommend them, I sure would. They're nice quality for the price, and everybody needs some bike lights. A lot better than those little ones you get at the local bike store or over at Walmart. Well, thank you for joining me here today. I sure do appreciate it. I know your time's valuable, something you can't get back, and I sure do appreciate you wasting a little bit of it here with me. If you enjoyed this video, you know the routine. Give it an old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one here, or any of these other videos we got here on this channel. This is a one-man show here. Without the support of people like you, none of this would be out. So it's very encouraging to see people continue to subscribe to this little channel for some reason. And it really means a lot to me when people go out of the way to support this channel. And on that note, I'd like to give a special shout out to Stacy Shores. Really do appreciate the support, Stacy. If you would like to support this channel or the ministry that I do here locally, there's plenty of links right down there below. Look down there, look down there. See down there, got merch right there in that little shelf right down there. You can click on that. All right, that's about all I got for this here little video. Till next time, remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you, so do I. I get off of here, go ride your bike, and read your Bible.